Uh, hello everyone, uh, I am Savo Shokai, a research assistant at Eskishiras Mangazi University and also a PhD candidate. Uh, my, my work mate uh, Sergen Aykun is also in the same status as me but he works in Istanbul. Our study, is, our study I'm going to present is about a fallacy in recommender systems. Uh, you can read the title obviously. I'm going to explain the difference between the default built-in correlation functions and the handcrafted ones. Um, while designing a framework it is possible to utilize the built-in methods for ease of use but unfortunately this uh, programming habit maybe might bring some problems. Uh, I mean these internal functions uh, may be missing the requirements of the applied scientific field. Uh, to give examples from ourselves, uh, we may have made such mistakes in the early days of our uh, recommender system knowledge. Uh, also, we see that the students we work with uh, fall into say, in similar situations generally. So, we want to caution against some of the critical points. Here is the outline I will follow. Uh, I will briefly introduce the problem first uh, and then give details about the methodology. Uh, after mentioning about the tests and results, uh, I will conclude my uh, presentation. So what is RS? Uh, especially in shopping and entertainment applications like Amazon, Facebook, uh, Twitter and popular movie platforms such as Rotten Tomatoes and IMDb, uh, having personalized recommendation modules is essential for customer comfort. Uh, the similarity analysis directs the user to the right items, uh, thereby making suitable suggestions. Uh, we discuss user-based collaborative filtering throughout this study. Uh, you can do operations such as finding similar users, recommending items to according to user's taste, and making some feature predictions about the system. Uh, in the frameworks of applications, uh, the similarity analysis is performed. Uh, first, uh, user or item similarities can be computed through the rating matrix. In the user-based collaborative filtering, you can see the algorithm steps in the screen. <coughs> in the first step, the question is which item is the focus? Uh, I mean, should the system recommend the item I for user A? Uh, to that end, all neighbors for user A, which have already rated the item I, are scanned one by one. Uh, and then all user user weights, in other words, linear relations, are computed. Uh, the best neighbors are found after sorting those weights. Uh, you can place those neighbors and corresponding weights in the prediction equation then. Uh, the fallacy origi originating from the built-in Pearson correlation function is analyzed in this study. Uh, so I will discuss the formulations, different formulations, in the next slides. For the datasets part, uh, MovieLens is a very popular dataset in recommender system science. Uh, thus, we test our caution points over three different releases from MovieLens. Uh, we selected releases considering critical information for testing, uh, such as the number of votes, users, are, users and items details regarding the releases. We tested our algorithm on the MATLAB development platform. Uh, the left side of the line declares the default built-in correlation formulation, uh, while the right side is the manipulated handcrafted version in RS. Uh, X and Y are the input vectors and they cannot be the whole rating histories because uh, there are uh, there may be non-rated items in the matrix or uh, they have different vector lengths for users. Uh, in that case, a developer can pass to this function uh, only the common ratings between two users or user vectors. Uh, this is the most critical part in our study. Uh, for the RS implementation, the parameters are according to the user rating yeah. behaviors and all ratings are considered. Uh, you can see that there are clear differences between those formulations. Uh, it is obvious that the way of processing the vectors may differentiate. 
Uh, in the left equation, uh, the common arguments can be considered only, but um, however, a fallacy occurs when applied to the RS because it does not consider all history. Uh, instead, in the right equation, the parameters hold the behavior of overall. Uh, all, all in all, uh, this study shows how much the utilization of the inline function uh, changes the outcomes. Uh, let's discuss special cases originating from this fallacy. Uh, you can see a rating max matrix example uh, in standard user item matrix format. Uh, when correlation scores are calculated based on the aforementioned formulas in previous pages, uh, the weights can be monitored like this. <coughs> the same score for both implementations can be observed if and only if the correlated item set is fully joined uh, with the user's rating history. Uh, for the case one, even though first two users have clearly different preferences uh, on the not, not common items especially, uh, the inline correlation returns a perfect similarity. Uh, that is a fallacy actually. Uh, the second case underlines the importance of the correlated item requirement. Uh, if users do not have commonly rated items, it is not possible to mention a user-based similarity. Uh, conversely, the, conversely to the first case, uh, the relation between those users falsifies the overall inference when the inline function is utilized. Uh, although those users have a similar sense of taste, the inline function indicates a total negative correlation, and this is also a fallacy. In our previous study, we underlined the positive effect of the significance weighting methodology. Uh, therefore, we added this multiplication in the scope of this study. Uh, you can see the constant multiplier, mu, uh, which is the common narrated item count. Uh, let's uh, give a quick example for CIC. Let's assume the weights are like this. You can see the values in the first column. When we multiply the weights uh, with the correlated item counts, the NEV boosted maybe, boosted weights are obtained uh, and sorting of the neighbor weights can be effectively changed afterwards, you can see that. Uh, based on the best neighborhood, active user and selected neighbors are treated for the prediction operation. Uh, you can see the mean centering formula as I briefly mentioned earlier. Uh, also, uh, as I said before, uh, we utilize three movie lens releases uh, for each data set and for all users, five randomly rated test items are selected for creating the test set, plus uh, using tenfold cross-validation, uh, then the test package is constructed. <coughs> During test, the default built-in correlation and handcrafted ones uh, are employed in a comparative manner. Uh, neighborhood selection, uh, also known as the top end decision, is done parametrically from 5 to 100 with 5 in incremental steps. That is a fine tuned way. For reliability purposes, each individual test attempt is done for 25 times, considering the randomization uh, or test item selection random false. Uh, thus, we can say that uh, a tunable uh, fashion is obtained. Uh, test results are illustrated uh, to compare two correlation implementations. Uh, we, co we group the metrics, the performance metrics, as a fun measure, accuracy-based and error-based metrics. In this slide, uh, I will mention about the first two groups. The x-axis uh, of the graphs uh, shows the best neighborhood count uh, and the y-axis presents the metric score. Of course, uh, higher scores are precious for those metrics. Uh, in a general view, uh, you can see the built-in function lines, the dashed lines, uh, are blob for all subplots. <coughs> the same observation can be seen for error metrics. Uh, lower scores are more valuable in this slide, obviously. Uh, in short, uh, in all the metrics, the dominance of the handcrafted uh, recommender system function can be monitored. Uh, in addition, uh, another general comment about significance weighting performance enhanced is actually better. Uh, the results confirm that this simple fallacy has considerable implications and we warningly say that the default built-in function 
may not work as you expected. So as a summary, during correlation calculations, we warn researchers about possible shortcomings of BOT methods. We recommend checking those functions for inside operations. Uh, with the aid of different data sets and performance metrics, experimental monitoring underlines the importance of not taking the default BOT methods uh, in a framework design instead of internal function calls. RS compatible correlation functionality may mm, essentially be needed at the end. All in all, a guideline is discussed in this study uh, to help researchers in their future work. So these are our references, uh, and I guess I'm done. So if you have any questions, I would like to answer them. Uh, thank you for listening to me. Mr. Sasha, okay, I thank you all for your presentation. Dear participants, uh, do you have any questions about this article?